study, today we're going to read The Mystery Hat, written by Rune Brand Benick and Jacob Jort Jensen. Illustrations by Jacob Jort Jensen. One sunny late winter's morning, three friends were taking a stroll through the woods when they noticed something rather, rather strange on the path just ahead of them. Watch out, shrieked Cow, shrieked Crow. What happened here? A knitted hat lay in a small puddle, all wet and soggy. Hmm, mysterious. That hat looks strangely familiar, said Crow. I'm pretty sure it belongs to... Oh no, I knew it. It's Bear's hat. He probably woke up early from his winter sleep with his tummy rumbling and bumbling from hunger, so he hurried out to find something to eat. Seeing as he was still quite sleepy, he must have not seen this hole and splash, sloop, sploosh, down he fell, leaving only his hat. And now he's sitting down there, waiting for someone to rescue him. Quick, let's find a rope and pull poor bear out at once. Pig took out a stick and poked it into the puddle. That's not a very convincing story, Crow, he said. But look, it's not deep enough to get much more than your feet wet, especially if you're a big bear. You're right, it's hog squash, said Beaver. Something awfully grim is going on here. In other words, something very bad. I don't know if you noticed, but as we passed the old farmhouse, the snowman out front wasn't there anymore. I once heard that the snow people actually fly, especially if they're starving, shuddered Beaver. Perhaps the snowman was out hunting for supper. He must have spotted Turtle, who wears a hat just like this one. There he was, strutting along, minding his own business. When swish, the snow grabbed Turtle, who must have put up a fight, as you can tell from the melted snowman's snow and Turtle's hat, continued Beaver. If I know anything about snowmen, it's that they love turtle soup. He's probably coping, cooking up our little friend as we speak. We have to find him before he's turned into broth. Hmm. Dick pondered for a while. Then he said, another interesting explanation, but I don't think it's very likely. You see, I just had breakfast with Turtle this morning. He's got a cold and isn't going anywhere. Look, you can see smoke coming out of his chimney. I think there's got to be a much simpler explanation to our little mystery. Pig took a moment to think really hard. Then it dawned on him. He said, do you, remember, do you both remember when it was it, it snowed a lot a few days ago? It was very pretty. We all went out to, went outside to enjoy it, and then a snowball fight broke out. I almost hit you with a snowball, Crow, but you ducked it and took your hat right off your head. We thought you lost it, but it must have rolled down this hill where after a while it melted in the sun. I think we solved the mystery, smiled Pig. It's your hat, silly crow. It's still a bit wet, but you could try it on if you like. Well, what do you know? Of course it's my hat. That's why it looked so familiar. They all chuckled and giggled for quite some time. Then they continued through the forest, looking for new adventures. Listen, says Pig. Is that our friend Bear, I hear? Oh, good, sighed Crow. He got out then. Beaver nodded in agreement. Perhaps the snowman helped him. I'm so glad. The end, and I hope you enjoyed.